Hi everyone. Today we are super excited to announce the release of GitOps version 1.0.0. For any open source project, a version 1 is a massive release and this particular release for GitOps also comes with a lot of improvements and new changes that we'll explore. Now if you want to dive deeper into all of these new releases with the help of the blog post, we'll make sure to share the announcement blog post in the YouTube description. Now let's go over some of the major changes one by one. And the first one is the dev mode. Now this feature has been there for a while, but we also wanted to make it official with the help of this particular announcement. The idea of the GitOps dev mode is that you can essentially launch a local development portal, which allows you to test different kinds of large language models. So the git dev command uses the contents of the git file and launches a portal where you can very easily just write and test different types of LLMs and compare between them very easily. Uh, so it essentially opens up a chat interface with a prompt interface as well with an open uh, compliant open AI compliant API to very seamlessly integrate any LLM into your application. So rather than having to rely on tools like LM studio or Olama, you can very easily just have that similar kind of an experience right with the help of the dev mode because it spins up this local environment for you. So let's see that how it looks like. So in this case, I, if I show you the content of my current repository, you can see that I have a 5.3 model with the GGUF format. Now, one thing to note is that right now with the dev mode, you can only run models with the GGUF format. This will be updated later and we'll have uh, addition of more types of models that you can run. But for now, in order to start the server, the kit dev mode, you can just write the command kit dev start dot and this will start the development server on this particular URL. You can just very easily navigate over here and you'll see that you have this chat interface where you can see the model that we are referring right now and it comes with a lot of inbuilt capabilities like you can add a message so we can just ask how to implement WebSockets in Python. And if you want to add some additional uh, values as well, for example, if you want to add some prompt templates, there are some additional options as well, which you can tweak to tweak the response coming from the LLM. So all of these can also be explored. And if you click, just click on start, it will start to generate the response. So the great thing over here is that if you're trying to test the model locally, you don't have to create your own custom interface or rely on some other open source tools to test out the model. You can very easily just get that over here and tweak the uh, different parameters. And essentially all of this is being extracted from uh, the model kit or from the kit file or from the model kit and then it's being transformed into this open AI compliant API and you get this really nice looking interface. Now if you want to stop this particular server, you can just type the command git dev stop and it will stop this particular dev server. So let's uh, proceed further. So the other major uh, announcement has been the PyKit Ops SDK. So this is the official Python SDK for KitOps and you can very easily just use this um, rather than having to rely on writing the kit file manually. Now we there's a Python library that you can very easily use, not just to define your kit file, but also to actually push uh, your kit file to your Zozo Hub or any other OCI compliant registry for that matter. So this can also be very easily integrated with CI CD pipelines. Um, so it's a great way to improve the developer experience while building and working with GitOps. So let's take a look at how this looks like. So here I have a demo.py file. Now the first thing to always keep in mind is that you'll have to run the command pip install GitOps. Now, after that, if you see my source code over here, so we have um, this Python file called demo.py and I have the import of from gitops.modelkit.manager, import kit file and modelkit manager. So in our main file, you see that we are creating the model kit by initializing the object as kit file. And then all of the typical um, objects or the structure within the kit file that we usually have. So in the manifest version, package, model, they're all being defined over here uh, with the help of the package model as these JSONs, JSON objects. And then when it comes to actually pushing this particular model kit to Jozu Hub, um, so we just provide the tag and then we provide this function. So we use this function called as model kit manager and then we simply go ahead and use this particular command pack and push model kit, which will not only pack the model kit for uh, pack the kit file to generate the model kit and then upload that model kit to or push it to Jozu Hub. And in this case, because we are relying on uh, Jozu Hub or for that matter, if you are planning to deploy and push your model kit to any other private registry, you can just change the variables in the env file. You'll find enough documentation for this. So if I just go ahead and run this particular command over here. So if I just go ahead and run python demo.py, you can see that it generates the content of the kit file and also logs into the password with the help of the password to Jozu Hub and also pushes this particular um, model kit that I've just 
pushed to those who have as well and then automatically logs out of those women so this is a great way for you to now in essentially initialize and run this as part of any other project so it's a great way to get started and not have to rely on manually writing these yourself now the next one is also of course there have been some announcements with uh, integrations with cicd tools as we know that ai and cicd work really well in fact um, there is a need for being able to have better cicd for uh, ml projects because of the complexity of the ml projects and of course we know that GitOps makes it very easy for you to integrate uh, the AIML CI/CD pipelines with the help of GitOps. So you can very easily just incorporate these Git commands either as Dagger pipelines or as you can over here see that there is an official Daggerverse. Or of course there is also another one which is the MLflow which allows you to serve uh, Zozu Hub as an artifact repository for MLflow. There is in fact a dedicated video that you can check out on the Zozu Hub YouTube channel to cover what exactly has been covered in that uh, video. So you can explore some of these integrations. There are some other ones that are there for GitHub Actions. So there is an official GitHub Action for Zozu Hub and there are some blogs that we link down below um, with Jenkins and Red Hat OpenShift. Now another really important useful feature is being the ability to import hugging face models to model kits directly. So with this version 1.0 milestone, um, one of the best features I think personally is the ability to use the git import command where this particular command will allow you to pull any model available on hugging face or any other such type of a public repository where you can fetch a model and it will convert that not only into a model kit and you can then push that particular file. So for instance, um, if you want to like, let's say run this git import Microsoft Pi 4, you, you can just use this particular command and it will download the content of the model uh, of the hugging face repository locally uh, in a temporary fashion. And once it has actually generated the model kit, it will remove all of those temporary files very easily. And then you can just push your uh, code, right? So let's take a look and just try to run this git import Microsoft Pi 4. Um, so in this case, we'll just run this particular command. And you can see over here that it automatically imports this particular command because we know that it's from the hugging face model. So it's first using the git LFS to download all of that content that is available. So in this case, we are downloading the 5.4 uh, model. And once uh, this particular process will complete, um, you'll be prompted if you want to make some changes to your kit file or not. If not, well and good, uh, you can just proceed with saving that kit file and you'll be able to see the model kit that has been created with the help of this import command. So this again, a really nice uh, feature to have uh, where you can just now very easily push this uh, to any OCI compliant registry. So you don't have to manually create all of that logic yourself. You can just very easily create kit file for any type of model that you wish to use. So these were some of the major changes that were uh, as part of the GitOps version 1.0.0. In fact, uh, there's another really nice article that we'll recommend to everyone to uh, take a look, which is uh, basically this one from Brad, the CEO of uh, Zozu, to kind of not only see that apart from all the major improvements that we have covered, there are of course a lot of performance improvements. So you can definitely take a look at this particular blog post and what it also actually means for the open source community in general uh, regarding GitOps project. Uh, so I highly recommend all of you to check out and make sure to update your GitOps version and definitely try out some of these features that are there. I'm particularly excited about the git import command. Um, so yeah, uh, do mention what are some of the things that you like about this new uh, release that has come up, uh, of course, and you can join the Discord server for discussions and what other features would you like to see within GitOps. So thank you so much, and I hope that you enjoyed the video.